So we'll be starting out today's tour by Morris Hall. Just showing you up this street right here. This is Hall Street. So if you just finished watching the North Campus tour, this is where we pick up from. Now next to Morris Hall is a building that houses the BCM, which is the Baptist Collegiate Ministries. If you're interested in that, this is probably a place that you want to go to. There's always people hanging out outside of it like every day. <laughs> The next one that you're looking at is the special library, the special collections library. So a lot of things are in there and this is a little quiet area. You won't see too many people hanging out over here on a usual day because it's kind of away from everything else, but a lot of events are held over there. Now this is the whole street deck. And right now we're looking at the back of the BLC, which is the Business Learning Commons. If you're a Terry major or a business major, you'll spend a lot of your time here. There's a lot of buildings, so we're gonna try to get into it on the other side. <laughs> Now this next one that you're looking at in front of you is the Fine Arts Building where if you're, if you're in a theater class or a dance class or something like that, you'll probably be spending a lot of time in there or any other gen ed class. I had a French class in there first year. Not really sure why, but we did. <laughs> So you can see that blue line on the ground. Blue line on the ground means that it's a bus stop. So this is a bus stop that a lot of people go or get to for night campus or just if you have a class over here and you're trying to get back to any place else on campus. So now we've made it to the bottom of the hill. If you live in Morris, I'm praying for you because every single time you have to walk up that hill, you'll be out of breath if you're me. But I mean, like if you in shape, then you know, go ahead, do what you gotta do. But this is the other side of the BLC. Of course, it just looked like a lot of stuff was roped off today. It's not usually roped off. They probably had an event or something as such, but this is three of the buildings that comprise the BLC. But of course there's buildings in the back as well. Now, if you're looking up that street, that's where you'll get into West Campus. So stay tuned, subscribe, so you're able to see what that part of campus looks like. You just cross the street, you can see Tate and MLC, but we're gonna get into that later. This is Bolton Dining Commons. This is the dining commons that a lot of visitors come to, and it's our two-story Dining Commons, it's a big place to go to. You have a little bit of everything there. So I would definitely suggest trying that out when you come on campus. Now this is just the other side of the Bolton Dining Commons, just another entrance or exit. Now if you look further down, that is also West Campus. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but there's a pool over there. I'm not really sure why, I've never seen it filled, but there it is. <laughs> so going up this little path is a building that you want to know about because it holds our career service office. So that's the Clark Howell Hall. I went there a couple times for resume help and resume critiques. I would definitely suggest going there. They have a lot of things, interview help, resume help, everything that you need to get placed in the job. You wanna know about that building. <laughs> Now here just here's just the Tate parking deck. A lot of it's one of the decks that a lot of people come to when they're like a visitor or a guest on campus. But of course students can park there as well. Y'all coming to UGA, you gotta get used to stairs and hills. So if you're not used to stairs and hills, trust me, you're gonna be a pro at them by the time you graduate. Interesting. So here is the Tate Lawn. A lot of people like to chill over here, just relax, tan, have a conversation. And over here on the side is a couple chairs that a lot of people like to sit by and do any schoolwork that they have to do. And once again, you see all them stairs? 
baby. I don't even know. So this next big building that we're looking at over here on the right is the Tate Student Center. This is the hub of all things student, the hub of everything that you need to know about on campus, the ELC, the engagement and leadership services, office is over here. There's just a whole lot of whole lot of going on. Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, the Dean of Students office is over here, Panda Express, Pizza, everything you want is over here. Our movie theater is over here. Just everything. So you're gonna you're gonna know about this building. You're gonna become very well acquainted with this building. <laughs> And here is another UGA Bulldog that you can take a picture next to. This next big building that we're looking at is the MLC. It's the Miller Learning Center. You have a lot of your gen ed classes over here and sometimes a lot of other random sporadic classes that they just need a place anywhere. There's also some really good study rooms in there as well, but you have to book them in order to get a spot or you're just going to be out in the open. <laughs> Here's just the other side of the Tate Student Center. And a bridge that a lot of people take pictures on if you ever see people at UGA. Now over to our left is a directory of Central Campus. If you ever lost on campus, make sure you look over here just so you know where to go to and what is around you. Now here's the university bookstore. Honestly, I don't spend too much time in there because I get my books online, but if you ever need like a UGA specific book, that's where you're gonna go to. Or if you ever want an Apple product, they have discounted Apple products over there. You go there as well, or just anything. They, they got a little bit of everything over there. Once again, here's just another entrance and exit of Tate Student Center. And over here on a regular school day, you'll see a lot of tabling going on, people trying to get people involved in organizations, fundraising, anything, you name it, people singing, dancing, talking. You'll see a lot of people over here. And now this is what we call the Tate Amphitheater. Once again, you'll see people singing, dancing, talking on that little stage. You never know what you'll see. This is the other side of the university bookstore. It's called the One Stop Shop. I believe transportation is in there and like parking, but I'm not really sure. Now we just cross the street. You'll be able to see all that in a hot second, but this is Memorial. There's a lot of things in there. The pre-law office is in there. The um, ISL is in there. The LGBTQ services office is also in there. And the ISL is the International Student Life Office. So the Caribbean Student Association is in there. And a lot of the other um, multicultural organizations are housed there. Now, if you look up there, that is where the Million Dollar Staircase was that you saw in the North Campus tour. And we're going to be walking up there a little bit soon. If you keep on walking up this street, you'll see our journalism building. So if you are in Terry, you're going to be spending a lot, not Terry, if you're in Grady, you're going to be spending a lot of time over there. And back over on the other side of the street is MLC once again, just so you guys can get a good feel of where you're at. Now we've made it to the top of this street. We're looking at the other side of the journalism building and our million dollar staircase, baby. We will not be going up that in this tour, but you'll see that in the North Campus tour. Once again, another little quad where a lot of people like to sit, hang out at. When Grady does host like their school specific events, they'll have them over there as well. Now, if you take a right from that street that we were just at, this is where you'll see psychology journalism. So basically, it's just 
the bridge in between the psychology building and the journalism building. Once again, if you're in Grady, you're going to be spending a lot of your time over here. Once again, stairs, baby stairs, but at least this time we're walking down the stairs. And of course, there's a lot of satellites and stuff that is going on in this area because this is the journalism area. They do need a lot of high tech equipment to get all of their content out. Now, once we made it down these stairs, you can see the bookstore once again but we're gonna go over to the left and then we're gonna wrap back around so you guys can see all of that once you cross the street to your right from where we were just at you will see a couple residence halls over here Now this first building is not actually a residence hall, but it's called Millage Hall, where you can get academic support at if you ever need it on campus. Make sure you know about this building. Now here is one of, or another one of the residence halls. It's called Reed Hall, and it's right next to the stadium, as you guys have probably heard in one of my other videos before this. Now, if you were to keep walking down that path, this is just another entrance for Memorial Hall. I already gave y'all a little spill about everything that's in there, but it's a big building, so it houses a lot of things. Now, we're getting to what everybody has been waiting for. I know y'all been waiting for this one. This is our favorite Sanford Stadium. This is the back entrance or one of the sides, the north side of the stadium. Now I'm gonna show you guys around so you guys can see a little bit of what the stadium looks like if you've never seen it before. So now we've made it to the other side of the stadium. Just want to show y'all one of the buses coming to the Tate bus stop. And I'm telling y'all, this bus stop is always packed because everybody's trying to get in and out from over there. But back to what y'all came here for, the stadium. Let's get into it, let's get into it, let's get into it. So y'all see it, these gates are usually open up on any day outside of an actual game day. So a lot of people come over here to take graduation pictures, just take pictures with their family, come and see what the stadium looks like. It's a nice view. And this is one of the student sections and then of course all the other areas. The stadium is most definitely a sight to see if you can ever come by. So unfortunately y'all, this is the end of our Central Campus tour. I hope you guys are able to see a little bit new things about what we have to offer here on this side of campus. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're able to know when the next part of this series does come out. There's a playlist that's going to be linked down below with all the videos in this tour so far. I know the Jumbotron, so big. Also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram at I am Sincerely Drew, just so you can see the other parts of campus that I have not shown just yet. And remember that I love you guys so much, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!